Walter Tull, born 1881 and sadly passed away in 1918. A brief but eventful, a magnificent life in fact. Um, on my visits to primary and secondary schools, I'm always slightly disappointed by the black history displays. You know, it's the usual suspects always, American, Rosa Parks, Mar Martin Luther King. If it's a bit edgy, it's Malcolm X. Um, but what a joy now when I go into, into schools to find that teachers are including black pioneering footballers such as Walter Tull and creating projects about him. It re really is a joy um, that I've played a very, very small part in Walter Tull's promotion. Um, because Phil Basile, my old mucker down in London, discovered Walter Tull. And this is his, his, his second uh, copy of his book um, with my screen prints adorned on the cover there. If I can move over to the, the screen prints, as I've repeated myself, Phil introduced me to Walter Tull in about 1998. Uh, and I created a series of silk screens based on the Andy Warhol style. And I did that specifically because Andy Warhol uh, portrayed celebrities and I wanted Walter Tull to be a celebrity. So I got quite a lot of uh, screen printing skills uh, and good facilities. So I was able to produce some oil based screen prints of, of, uh, of Walter. I'm just going to peel through a couple of these bright boys for you. There we go. They're very small additions because uh, I was always a bit skint at this time. And oil based inks now are outlawed. We use water based in education. And so I'll just show you the water based inks, which are slightly different. This is Walter uh, in his uh, capacity as a First World War Army officer. I won't be talking too many facts and figures because I think you really you should know about Walter Toll and if you don't, where have you been living under a rock? So this is Walter, uh, slightly plasticky inks, water based, but still, still do the job. What was nice sort of early on was that myself and Phil uh, this was Phil's project. He did um, a ceremony at the Sixfield Stadium at Northampton, opening of the memorial gardens there, where he penned some be a beautiful epitaph to epitaph to. That's a tricky one to say with the false teeth um, to Walter. And uh, I've I fortunately had an exhibition alongside, and it was quite uh, sweet for me because my, I dedicated it to my my dear old mom Lily Yates. Myself and Phil have uh, completed a couple of educational projects. One was the role and experience of soldiers of colour. Um, you can see I've put uh, Walter in there with a lot of footballers from the football battalion. Um, this was a time where soldiers were making a huge impact in their society. Um, I've done that in a sort of a genre again of the, of the time that sort of, of that sort of poster. If I can move across now to a more recent portrait that I did of Walter, showing the, the three sort of facets of him, well he was a multifaceted individual. Um, Walter as a soldier, Walter as a sportsman and Walter as a scholar. This was displayed at the National Football Museum in Manchester. Um, again, if you really want to research Walter, you don't want to hear me spouting loads of facts, please go onto the web and have a look because his life story is absolutely amazing. It's rife for a film. I know there are books and TV docs about, about Walter, but Phil's been trying to get a film about about Walter for many, many years. So if there are any multimillionaires out there, please help. Just finally, uh, a couple of things. I, I picked this up this morning off the internet, just uh, 
Walter Toll really has made it when he's got his own his own post box. Uh, there are stamps. There's, you know, he, he's really become quite significant on the national curriculum as well. When we when we worked on this project, the the, the football soldiers project, the role and experience of soldiers of colour, myself and Phil went into loads and loads of schools. And I was so proud of my local school in Shard End in Birmingham, where I was brought up, uh, which is not the most salubrious of locations. But the kids at the Guardian Angels School there, the primary school, really were outstanding. And of course, kids' work is brilliant. They did, they, they did fantastic work. Phil did the drama and I did the, the visual arts, which was absolutely magnificent. So, in conclusion, I really need to give my sponsors a plug. Fair for sponsoring these films. Steven Spielberg, watch out. Long-standing sufferers of my work. The PFA, thank you very much. And of course, if you have a look on my website, colinyates.art.com, you can see loads and loads of pictures, loads of screen prints and drawings about Walter Tom.